SpaceX's Falcon Heavy is about to launch the first NASA mission this week. This monster is set to do something unusual that has never been done before. Let's find out more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. In the early hours of October 6th, workers transported NASA's Psyche spacecraft to the SpaceX hangar at Launch Complex 39A at the agency's Kennedy Space Center in preparation for launch. Earlier this week, technicians completed encapsulation of the spacecraft along with the DSOC, or Deep Space Optical Communications Technology Demonstration, inside a clean room at the Astrotech Space Operations Facility in Titusville, Florida. The fairings will protect the space craft from aerodynamic pressure and heat during launch. After the rocket's second stage climbs to a high enough altitude, the fairings will separate from the vehicle and return to Earth. Soon, technicians will mate the spacecraft to a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket in preparation for launch, which is targeted for 1016 AM EDT Thursday, October 12th. Psyche will be NASA's first primary science mission launched to orbit by a Falcon Heavy rocket and the second interplanetary mission for SpaceX on behalf of NASA. NASA's Launch Services Program certified the rocket for use with the HC's most complex and highest priority missions in early 2023 at the conclusion of a two-and-a-half-year effort. The DSOC technology demonstration, NASA's farthest ever test of high bandwidth optical communications, will happen during the first two years of the roughly six-year journey to Psyche. The DSOC will send and receive test data from Earth using an invisible near-infrared laser which can transmit data at 10 to 100 times the bandwidth of conventional radio wave systems used on spacecraft today. What the team learns from DSOC could support future agency missions, including humanity's next giant leap, which is when NASA sends astronauts to Mars. The Psyche mission costs an estimated $1.2 billion. In short, the Psyche mission is definitely one of the most important space missions of 2023. But hold on, take a look at this. Do you notice anything strange here? This payload fairing looks a bit dirty, right? Well, that's because SpaceX is launching a literal billion dollar NASA spacecraft in a reused fairing. What's even more surprising is that SpaceX employed a reused fairing for the first time just three months after securing NASA's Psyche launch contract. What started as a fledgling proof of concept has swiftly evolved into a certified component for the least risk-tolerant category of NASA's robotic missions, all within a remarkable span of less than four years. Even a tiny amount of contamination can degrade or ruin instruments that scientific spacecraft carry. NASA also follows strict planetary protection rules, and a contaminated fairing would completely defeat the purpose of meticulously sanitizing a spacecraft. This implies that SpaceX's cleaning methods must be virtually flawless, given that they can effectively effectively clean a fairing that landed in the ocean to NASA's satisfaction, allowing the placement of an interplanetary spacecraft inside it. The decision by NASA to entrust the launch of the billion-dollar Psyche spacecraft to SpaceX using a reused fairing indicates a high level of confidence in the effectiveness of SpaceX's cleaning methods. NASA, as a leading space agency, has stringent requirements for mission success and payload safety. The fact that they deemed a reused fairing suitable for such a critical mission attests to the reliability of SpaceX's procedures. Personally, I would never expect to be this excited about the reuse of a fairing. Can you believe how far SpaceX has managed to push reusability with no signs of slowing? It's amazing. In reality, SpaceX has started expanding fairing reuse since 2020 to drive down launch costs. During a rocket launch, a fairing sits right at the top of the launch vehicle as the rocket accelerates through the Earth's atmosphere. Atmosphere. The purpose of this component is to protect the rocket's payload from aerodynamic and atmospheric forces that the vehicle, which often goes supersonic during flight, encounters during its ascent. SpaceX's primary achievement in the industry has been to develop a reusable first-stage rocket, which significantly brings down the cost of launches and makes access to space easier. The bulk of the cost savings from reusing the first stage for a rocket, the part that separates once the vehicle escapes the atmosphere, comes from engine reuse, with these components not only being costly but highly complex to manufacture as well. Once SpaceX has worked out the kinks of landing its first stage Falcon 9 boosters, the company was left with the second largest driver of launch 
costs, also known as the second stage and the payload fairing. In an interview in 2020, Musk shared the launch costs of the Falcon 9 and their primary drivers. According to him, once a Falcon 9 first stage has been reused, the marginal cost, or the cost for a subsequent launch for the rocket, drops to $15 million. This cost covers areas such as a brand new second stage, which costs roughly $10 million, and booster and fairing recovery, fuel and refurbishment costs for the rest. While they appear to be simple on the surface, a payload fairing itself comes with a host of sensors, thrusters, a heat shield, and a parachute among other components. Each fairing half has its own thrusters that help to orient it for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. These thrusters make sure that the exterior of the component is facing towards the ground as it re-enters, which protects its avionics and other sensitive components. All these naturally drive up the cost of using new ones every time a rocket is launched. A fairing, consisting of two halves, costs $6 million to manufacture, as revealed by Musk in a 2017 press conference following the launch of SESSA's SES-10 communications satellite. Assuming that refurbishing it requires roughly $1.5 million, let's SpaceX save about $4.5 million. But besides that, the reuse of rocket components, including fairings, is a groundbreaking practice that has the potential to redefine the economics of space exploration. Traditional space missions often involve the disposal of expensive hardware after a single use, contributing to the exorbitant costs associated with space travel. SpaceX's commitment to reusability addresses this challenge head-on, making space exploration more cost-effective and environmentally sustainable. But now let's get back to the Psyche mission. Wedged between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, the main asteroid belt contains over a million rocky objects, but perhaps few of them are as intriguing as the Psyche asteroid. This metal-rich asteroid might have once been an ancient planetary building block that was stripped of its outer rocky shell as our solar system came to be. What remains of Psyche may hold the answers as to how Earth and its neighboring planets were formed and a namesake mission is on the case to probe the asteroid for clues. Psyche is a 280 kilometer wide asteroid that orbits the Sun in the outer part of the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It was discovered in 1852 and named after the Greek goddess of the soul. This odd-looking potato-like space rock might be an exposed core of a planet planetesimal or an early planetary building block. Psyche may have been stripped of its outer layer due to violent collisions that took place during the early formation of the solar system. And since we can't drill our way to the Earth's core, visiting the Psyche asteroid is the next best thing as it offers scientists a rare look at the center of our planet and other rocky planets like it. It could also hold clues to the violent history of our solar system and how planets like our own came to be in the midst of the chaos. Chaos. Analysis of radar observations of the asteroid indicates that Psyche is likely made of a mixture of rock and metal, with metal composing 30-60% to 60 of its volume, according to NASA. Based on data obtained by Earth-based radar and optical telescopes, Psyche appears to have two large craters as well as significant variation in its metal content and color across the asteroid's surface, according to NASA. Observing the asteroid up close will allow us to confirm Psyche Psyche's battle scars and offer more insight into its origin. The mission expects to receive its first images around two months after launch. The spacecraft's magnetometer will look for evidence of an ancient magnetic field, which would support the theory that Psyche is the leftover core of a planetary body. The gamma ray and neutron spectrometer will help determine the chemical elements that make up the asteroid, while the multispectral imager will provide information about the mineral composition of Psyche. This will be a mission worth looking forward to. Hopefully the Falcon Heavy, with its reused fairing, will complete the mission in ACES. And that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and if you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.